You know, I have to say, my friend, you were actually pretty darn lucky there. I mean, you know, you got hit right by uh, where our hospital is. So, you know, that makes it pretty easy to get you here on time and stuff. Yeah, you may not feel it, but you're pretty lucky. Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Flashing Lights. Uh, this time it's night shift as the uh, EMS, uh, so uh, let's see here. All right, we've uh, arrived on the scene of a hit and run. Um, so we're going to hopefully be able to help this person here. All right, so um, one thing I finally learned is that it's probably better if you just grab uh, the stretcher because it's going to have all the stuff you're going to need right on it. So let's uh, do that here. Um, trying to back up here. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's, um, actually, this is kind of the problem. Uh, how do I select the, uh, all right, there we are, medic bag. Okay, so we're going to start by, of course, uh, inspecting the patient here. All right, breathing, pulse found, and he is conscious. That's good. Possible bone fracture on the left arm. Alright. So, next it wants us to establish an IV, so we're gonna... Wait, if I'm not mistaken, um... Yeah, we gotta remove the top first here. I'm just staring at it thinking, of course we gotta remove, you know, the patient's clothes. When do we not remove the patient's clothes? We look for excuses here on that to, uh, you know. All right, so we're gonna do a normal saline uh, drip here. Um, all right, so now we can uh, focus on uh, the possible bone fracture. For that, we need the fracture kit. Alright, so we're going to apply that there. Alright, and now that takes care of this, so now, um, so I get that up there. Oh, not the key I wanted. Uh, let's see, I think we can just, there. Uh, yeah, we can, uh, pack our bags up this way here. And then what we can do is we can take the stretcher here. And pick him up and put him on the stretcher. Take him back here to the ambulance, and then uh, we're gonna get him to the hospital there. But uh, yeah, I'd say uh, considering the crosswalk is over here or over here or over there, no matter what he uh, is assuming he was using the crosswalk, he he really went you know flying there. Um, so I'd say he's lucky to be uh, just having a uh, possible fracture there on his arm. So yeah, let's get him to the hospital. Okay, so we are arriving on scene to a motor vehicle uh, collision here. It looks like uh, the, they've already. Uh, it's everyone's. Um, it looks like everyone's out of the vehicle. But uh, well, sorry, not out of the vehicle. I don't know what I'm saying tonight. I'm a little bit tired, honestly. It's the night shift. It's not helping. But um. Yeah, it looks like uh, you know all the vehicles are opened up here. So, um, given that the fire department isn't here as well, um, that suggests that you know no one needed to be freed from the vehicle there. Um, so this is the one that I'm going to be worried, I think, about the most here. Uh, let's get the medic bag and let's uh, and take a look at the patient here. So let's start head and work our way down. Uh, not breathing, no pulse, un un and unconscious, so uh, we got the triple whammy there of uh, not good. Okay, so we gotta perform CPR here. Oh, darn this thing. 
Okay, let's try it now here. Um... Come on, breathe. Okay, so now we gotta get the um, ECG out. Uh, that's with the defibrillator in there. Alright, so we're gonna. Uh, once again, any excuse we can find to remove a patient's clothing, it seems we do in this game. Um. That does not look like a good line to me here. So why is it that our next priority is to establish an IV? I don't know. Uh, come on, there we go. All right, we're gonna do an, uh, so we're gonna establish an IV here. And yeah, we're gonna do epinephrine. I see where they're going now with this. I see where they're going with this. Okay, why are we standing on top? Alright, so the patient looks uh, pretty good there in terms of stable there. So, uh, what we're going to want to do here... Unfortunately, we got to go back to the medic bag to do this. Uh, we're going to want to request transport for her. Oh yeah, we got to take off the lead. We got to take off the leads first. Okay, so another ambulance is now en route uh, for her. So what we're gonna do is we're going to we can uh, find the grabby point here on this. Ooh, move that cone a bit. We're gonna go over here and inspect the other um, patient. Okay, so I was wondering, where did that vehicle come from? All right, um, we're going to need the medic bag here. Oh joy, it's bugged again to where we cannot interact with the patient. <sighs> joy. Okay, so we got a call uh, about a diabetic, uh, so we're going out there now. It's over in the uh, suburbs, of course. Um, so yeah, that should be a pretty straightforward call, hopefully. So let's see here. I don't know if it's, it looks like it's uh, suburbs east. Yeah, it's in the east one. Wow, that, that car actually got out of our way. How nice. What a rarity. Again, vehicles just love to get in the way there. Um, okay, which uh, residence is it? I wish there was a proper address system in this game. I think it's this one right here. Yeah, it looks right. All right, let's get the stretcher out here, because as I said, it's so much easier to uh, you know just 
grab the uh, stretcher here stuff. Alright, so we're gonna grab the medic bag here. Alright, um, first we gotta inspect the patient, of course. Breathing, pulse found and conscious. No obvious external uh, issues there. So uh, we're gonna do a glucose test next. Any day now. Okay, we're gonna exit out of it manually. Um, right. Okay, so 51, yeah, we're going to be giving them, um, let's see here, where is it, medications, and it's going to be an oral glucose PO. Okay, and now we just uh, take the patient to the hospital. Uh, or fervor observation. Oh boy. You know what? Um, hmm. Let's see if we can't just, uh, okay. Look, can we do move to stretcher this way, please? Okay, good. Excellent. Um, that worked. Nice. Okay, close the doors. And let's transport her to the hospital. Okay, so right here by the hospital, we have another hit and run with a possible uh, bone fracture there. Uh, so we're arriving on scene here. Um, <laughs> I just want to say, uh, this call came in right after um, I dropped off the uh, previous patient. And I have to say, I did come through this way, but uh, this person was not here when I came through. So um, this wasn't my doing. I, am, I can say that much. All right, let's inspect the patient. Breathing pulse found and is conscious. Um, so far. Yeah, that's where the possible bone fracture is, his left leg. Okay, we're going to establish an IV here. Oh, right. Uh, we need an excuse to remove the clothes once more. We're going to do a normal saline drip again. And uh, let's see here. We need now. We now need the fracture kit out here. And it's the left leg. There we go. All right. Uh, now it's just uh, transport to hospital. Okay, we're heading out to the suburbs east once more. This time it's a uh, respiratory call. So uh, that's quite serious. Uh, I don't think we've got one of those uh, in the series yet. So um, actually, no, I think we did have uh, a case of that. I'm not positive though. Um, yeah, it's always interesting to see what you know calls we're gonna get here.
Please don't come towards me. Yeah, stay stay away. I, I, when you see the flashing lights, go work your way away from me. All right, you know, actually, I, no, it's the next one. I looked at the map and I, I honestly thought that was the turn. Okay. You need to get past you, buddy. All right, um... We're arriving on scene, I just don't know for certain. I think it's this house here. But I'm not positive. Yeah, we're gonna need the Halligan to open the door. I kind of expected that. Okay, um... Let's get the Halligan out here. Alright, door is open. Um... Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, I want the stretcher. <laughs> I wish it- I wish the stretcher was a separate thing, uh, to that there. Oh boy, once again, this is the- the great issue here. Okay, let's try and get it up the stairs. Come on! Come on! You can do it! I mean... I guess you can't do it. Okay, let's try going backwards then. Yes, yes, come on. You're almost there. Quit trying to be Michael Jackson and pull this thing up the stairs. <sighs> okay, that's not happening, apparently. Right then, uh, medical call. I'm guessing this is the uh, patient here. Breathing, pulse found, and conscious. Um, if she's breathing and she has a pulse and she's conscious, why didn't she get the door? Okay, well, no other clear issues here. Uh, so yeah, I guess we're gonna apply an oxygen mask next. All right, looks like we're gonna have to manually get out of it again. Um, yeah, that's under trauma airway oxygen mask. Okay, good. Now we just got to uh, transport. And look at that. She's already on the stretcher for us. Now, if only there was a way to get these things up the stairs. Okay, so here's a call I haven't gotten for a while. Um, patient with a gunshot wound. So uh, let's go uh, take a look at that. We should be uh, close to arriving on scene. All right, there's the patient. We're probably going to need uh, something there for, to help with uh, bleeding. Um, it's been, a, as I said, it's been a while, so um, don't remember exactly what all happens here with this one. All right, so we're going to inspect the patient. Breathing pulse found and conscious. Alright, so the wound is in the right leg. 
Nova wounds found. Um, I think under normal circumstances, wouldn't you do the bandage first here for this, you know, if they're bleeding there and stuff? Alright, so we've established the bandage. Um, gonna do the IV push. Oh, yep. Yeah. Once again, time to take off clothes, apparently. Uh. Alright, so once again, we're gonna do a normal saline IV drip. Okay, and just like that, uh, she's ready for transport to hospital. Stretcher here. Get her on it. All right. Yeah, well, actually, uh, I think, uh, go full, you know, there with taking to the hospital here. It's a short distance, and, you know, we, we get to use the siren both ways this time, because this is a call that warrants, uh, siren for transport back. Okay, we're gonna grab the stretcher there again. And we're gonna wheel her in. Well, considering the next call out is a motor vehicle collision, which I have had bad luck as of late with, uh, usually not being able to help the second patient, I think we're gonna call it there this time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, the night shifts. Um, I think we, I think I'm going to go back and forth on doing some things night shift, some things, you know, day shift and stuff, but uh, I'm kind of going to be turning my attention towards these achievements here and stuff and, you know, trying to complete that. That will be a nice little challenge. Um, so yeah, we'll see where we go from here. I have something in mind for uh, next week's video, uh, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not, but until then, uh, we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> have a great day, everyone.